morning guys. Rocket Outdoors here. Good kicks here. Um, we're up in the White Mountain National Forest in the Pemigewasset Wilderness. Um, it's about 40 degrees supposedly, but there's snow flurries coming down. Uh, yeah, it's we're here by the river, as you can see. Pretty cool. Um, we're doing a two-day, uh, one overnight hike, uh, the Bond Cliff Mountains. Um, it's about 4 a.m. I'll check back in when it gets light and we'll run down the itinerary. But uh, we're doing about 26 miles. So stick around. about a mile in it's finally light out stop snowing for now we could get an inch or so maybe an inch and a half of snow this morning yeah. entering the Pemigewasset wilderness hold on yeah 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 What, Fitchick? <laughs> what do you need, Fitchick? This is like a flashback. <laughs> All right, I have photography duties to, to do. Let's see in a minute. It needs. Stop it. Yeah. We're on a smaller trail now. It's still really flat. It's an old railroad bed, actually. I'll show you, there's all uh, still railroad ties everywhere. There's old logging railroad. We used to go out here. This was a big logging area back in the day. Um, like hundreds and hundreds of guys out here living at camps. Logging it out. It's our one year <laughs> wedding anniversary. That's right, I didn't mention that, did I? No, you did Aww. <laughs> Yes, this is our anniversary gift to each other. We're going to go beat ourselves up for 26 miles. But uh, we're going to have fun. What else could you want? Right. We're going to have fun tonight, though. Um, it's going to be a great hike. Um, wait till we get above tree line. It's just all ridge walking. Look at that view, boy. Those birch trees. Maybe a couple more miles till uh, we hit the top of Bond, I believe. Is Bond the first one? Yeah, uh, Bond Cliff. Bond Cliff. Then Bond, then West Bond. Oh, yeah. So Bond, Bond Cliff, and West Bond. No, Bond Cliff, Bond. Bond Cliff, Bond, West Bond, whatever. James Bond. Summit is in sight. There's a summit up there. Clouds are coming in and out. Crazy. It's coming out of the camera. Pretty awesome. Yeah. It's only the beginning. You guys see the snow? <laughs> Do you see it? So we're headed to the next mountain. And, uh, we only got about three and a half more miles until we get to camp. It's snowing. Oh, this is a stuff I haven't seen before. Boo! I love it. We're gonna weigh up the second mountain. A lot of snow, it's all tumbled boulders. It's like that all the way to the top. Oh, we're at the top of Mount Bond. Mike, you can't see anything. Oh, 
on to the next one. See all the blow down up here? Crazy. This big section. This is, uh, we're at the last bond, West Bond. Um, about a quarter of a mile from the summit. Strange. So we're going to hike to the summit of this mountain. It's an out and back. I'm going to hike back down, get back on the trail. And then it's like another quarter mile to the hut and tent sites. Um, saw a sign for it. It said no fires permitted. So uh, that kind of stinks. It'd be nice to have a fire and be able to warm up a little bit. Yeah. So. Considering I went swimming. Yeah, Lindsay fell in a little river crossing and uh, got soaked times. her pants or shoes are soaked. So all day when she'd been trying to dry everything out and kept stopping, wringing out her socks to try to get the water out of her shoes. Finally, we got them wrung <coughs> out so they weren't collecting any water anymore. And then I gave her a pair of my super heavy socks that I was going to use for sleeping. Um, so she put those on and now she's pretty good. And her yeah. pants, pants dried out pretty well. Yeah, actually. surprisingly. Surprisingly. So everything's all good. We was a little nerve wracking at first because we knew it was going to be cold and snow and someone being wet, but um, it's working out. Oh yeah. So, all right, we'll keep moving. Ooh, yeah, there these are perfect ones, actually. Yeah, so you're going to have to come all the way out here. We're going to have to hike all the way out here after we get our tree permit and hike out, yeah, you know, like 12 miles, get a Christmas tree, then haul it back. <laughs> yeah. No way. We made it to West Bond. It's windy up here. Uh, snow keeps blowing through, and then it'll clear out for a second so you can see. Like, all there's all foliage over there and stuff. There's it's a like fall and winter. Yeah, there's like a peak right here that's all snow, and then over there it's all foliage. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see behind us, but it keeps blowing, and if it gets good, if it clears up quick, I'll show you. Yeah, it just cleared up in like one second. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, you can see on this side of it too a little bit. Yeah, so this is our last summit of the day. So we're gonna get a little bit of apple whiskey here. We're gonna take a little swig of that. Toast to the day's hike. And then we're gonna hike out of here and go find whiskey. That's it? Just toast to the day's hike? It's not our anniversary? Well, yeah, because it is our anniversary today, actually. Um, one year, this is our anniversary vacation. My idea. <laughs> totally. Come with the snow and freeze our butt off. But uh, cheers to a year of wonderful marriage. Cheers. Cheers to <laughs> just an adventurous hike, that's for sure. Tomorrow's going to be a doozy. But I don't know if you can hear because of the wind. But cheers, everybody. Um, just found a spot to camp. Um, it's getting wicked cold. It's windy. Um, it just stopped snowing. It was like snowing bad. You can see the woods around me. Um, it's really coming down. So we like found a spot, set up a tent. Um, we're in the middle of the woods here. Um, it's you know sheltered by some trees and stuff, but it's still pretty windy. Um, it's a blue sky now. It's, the, the clouds just totally blew out. And, uh, so Lindsay's in the tent getting stuff set up and uh, I think we're going to go in there too. It's too windy to have any kind of fire as of right now. So I think we're going to go in the tent and um, I got the propane stove. We'll cook up some food and um, whatever. But you can check out the site in the tent. There's the tent. Let's see, we're in the woods here. Yeah. Morning, guys. Uh, we're back on the trail. Um, about 6 a.m. Sun just came up. Let's see. I ended up filming more last night. Uh, it just got brutally cold. And uh, 
we just stayed in his tent. Um, and got in our sleeping gear and stuff. And I boiled up a little water inside there and made a meal. And we just went to bed and cuddled up. Uh, it was so windy last night. It was probably like 40, 50 mile an hour gusts last night. Um, but we actually we um, slept really well. And we we're nice and warm. And we had on every bit of clothing we had and um, we're in our down bags. But uh, so we slept good. Decided to get up and start trucking out of here. We just crested the top of Mount Gideo. Uh, Happy winter! <laughs> well, we're at top of uh, South Twin. We made it. Pretty crazy. All right, I'm to the Well, we're back in the Kemenjawasset wilderness. Um, coming down off South Twin. It was crazy. Um, it was probably about, I don't know, three to 4,000 feet in elevation drop. Straight down, pretty much. It was all snowy and it was all rock and icy, and so it took us a long time to get down that. Then we passed uh, Galehead Hut, grabbed some water, and now we're uh, heading through the forest. The snow just melted off everything. It was like it was raining, all the snow melting off the trees, but now it's pretty dry. And, uh, beautiful, warmed up, we stripped some clothing, had a snack, doing good. Doing good for a check? Oh yeah. <laughs> Super cool, huh? Just got on uh, Franconia Brook Trail, and it's gonna take us for about, uh, well, it turns into Lake and Woods Trail. We got about seven miles left to get back to the top of So we should be following this river along the way. I think it'd be like six river crossings or something, but um, there's a bunch of waterfalls and stuff, so it's easy to see. Oh. Still on Franconia Brook Trail. Just did another stream brook crossing. Probably like a fourth or something like that. Still going. We're in the last mile now. It's about five o'clock. Sun's starting to go down. We're almost there. Almost. We're ready to get to the car. <laughs> we did about, we did like 15 miles today, I think. Ready for some rest. Rest? Whiskey. Whiskey, too. Yes. It was a great trip, all in all, though. Amazing anniversary adventure. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Uh, we'll be remembering it for the next couple days when we're fucking sore as hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I can't walk when I get out of bed tomorrow morning. But it's been beautiful. Yeah. Um, if any of you guys ever get a chance to come out here um, to the Pema Juwasset Wilderness and do like the Pema Loop or just the Boncliffe Mountains or something, unbelievable. So gorgeous. Well worth the effort. So... Well, I think I'm going to sign off here. Um, thank you all for joining us and uh, appreciate all your support. So until next time, Rocket Outdoors, Fitchick Adventures. Later, guys. Peace.